Hi, I'm Theron Q. I'm at Chiraca. Hi. Hi again. <clears throat> if you like this video, if you make it through, make it through. Make it through. And then if you like it, give it a thumb up, please. If you like the channel, subscribe to it if you haven't already, please. I'm asking nicely. And uh, share. Share the joy of this channel with others. With your friends. And if, if you don't find it to be joyous, then share it with your enemies. Okay. That having been said. What was I going to talk about now? Oh, COVID-19. And like me, and like affairs. Not just that. You know, because COVID-19 is kind of like, for many people, becoming a thing of the past. It's on the verge of becoming a thing of the past. <clears throat> so, like affairs. Affairs did have similar consequences. One specific consequence I want to talk about here is its social aftermath. Social and then also psychological aftermath has to do with distancing. Remember? Suddenly social conditioning was recommended by the whoever they are. They were recommending it. Whoever, whoever they are. <clears throat> they were recommending someplace were enforcing it. Things were changed, changed around, you know. The lobbies and the entranceways to places of public access. <clears throat> Lines on the floor. Signs. Things are arranged. Okay. Social distancing. By now, Oh, and the mask, the required mask. I see people still wearing masks. I'm not sure why. Oh, I, I get why. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the right way to put it, but. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> people have made yet another step now towards separation, toward isolationism. This has dramatic consequences. Every time another step takes place in isolation is, you know, in the direction of <clears throat> people isolating themselves from one another. People distancing themselves from one another. It's not a good thing. This is not this is not a constructive development. What talked us into it was the threat of dying from the COVID nineteen virus. <clears throat> three antidotes, three three preventative measures were set forth. Wash your hands more than you ever did during the day with good antibacterial soap, antiviral soap if you have it. <clears throat> Just clean up, clean up. Right? Number two, the mask. And number three, <clears throat> social distancing. And of course, then there was the vaccine. I'm not going to ever talk about that. That's another story in itself. I'm just talking about isolationism. It's still going on. I mean, even if we don't see the signs, maintain six feet, six a six foot distance between you and other people uh, here in this waiting room or whatever wherever <clears throat> I don't find that but the notion has become internalized you know more people are bumping rather than shaking hands now people are standing back people are telling their friends if you don't have the vaccine I can't, you know, we can't hang out. 
But when this thing blows over, we'll hang out. Well, at what point does it really blow over? And at, at how long will it take, you know what I mean, <clears throat> for the friendship to just phase out because of this? You know, well, we haven't talked for two years. You know, I guess we've drifted apart. You see, isolationism at work. Isolationism thinking. <clears throat> Carrying out distancing. Making it happen. <clears throat> Affecting things that we might not have actually desired to have affected this way. You know, but we made it happen. We let it happen. <clears throat> what things maybe have you experienced in your life now that just kind of like went awry? Things that you maybe would like to have got done with other people, but they didn't now. Or, excuse me, people had to go out of their way to make them happen. Have you gone for psychotherapy within the last couple of years and found that maybe you've never even met your therapist face to face, but you've been having therapy now for two years. It's online. <clears throat> and that's taken to be personal interaction, interpersonal interaction, as though it were face to face. As though face to face is no longer, no longer would make any difference. I mean, it, it wouldn't be, there's, there's no plus to that. There's just a minus to it. You might get dead. <clears throat> you might get deaded from it. You might gain mental health, but physical death. How many projects maybe uh, 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 that you anticipated involvement in now fell through? I know of a person who was, who was scheduled to be a cast member in an upcoming television series <clears throat> but the whole project was put on hold due to the COVID-19 thing it just it wasn't going to happen until you know everybody felt safe everybody felt like it's okay now to group together form a group of people to bring together people in a in a large group from different places in the country, maybe different parts of the world, <clears throat> um, you know, safely. What if our definition of safely has by now changed? Because we've changed our way of living. Long enough now has still evidenced that people still wearing a mask here and we're not in a disease ridden area. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm not. I see people, some people in ma wearing masks at the local grocery store. Still. But they're reaching and handling the stuff. You know, they're walking in. They're not using the little hand wipey thing as they're going in. They have a mask on, and they just grab a shopping cart and go straight through the door now. They've dropped out a few of the steps, but they still wear a mask. And not only wear a mask, but they're wearing a mask while in their own car, and there's nobody else in the car. I see that. It's a habit. It's just become a habit. Now, I'm saying in like manner, so has the thinking behind that become a habit. It shows up in the mask wearing when people are walking out in the open air. Walking down the sidewalk and there's no one around. Driving in their car and there's nobody else in the car. 
just goes along with pushing the shopping cart right on in through the door, not wiping it off, not wiping one's hands. And went on the way back out of the store, just pushing the shopping cart over where the rest of them are. <clears throat> no cleaning off of the hands then either. The mask's on. You can drive home with it on. Might wear it all day in the house. Might, might live alone and put on a mask. Who knows? Who knows what might blow in the window? The distancing thing. People were afraid of death due to a horrible contagious disease. Right? Well, some people died. Most people are still alive. Most, I mean, most. Some people died, yeah. People die of this, people die of that. I wouldn't be surprised if more people died of car in car crashes during that same time. But I could be wrong about that. <clears throat> I think you get what I'm saying. What I'm well, the, the, the spirit of what where I'm going here. <clears throat> but here's what died. Here's what got lost. <clears throat> togetherness that got chipped away at pretty hard in hindsight now I'm, I'm just throw this out here in hindsight I mean, if you think about that loss for a moment here just, I mean it may have crept its way into your thinking without you realizing or maybe it crept in, you realized it, you noticed this happening, but you don't know its extent or its longevity or its influence on other affairs. External, you know, like connected affairs, but not the thing in itself, you know, its impact. <clears throat> Well, think about that for a moment here. And let me ask you, do you think that that loss, that, let's say, the death of a, a part of human connection, human relation, human connectedness, human togetherness, human cooperation, was worth It was worth it. Looking at how things actually turned out on the other side of it, you know, the death toll. I mean, that, that's significantly diminished. Maybe the social distancing had something to do with that. But the social distancing remains. Was it worth that? Was it worth that sacrifice? Well, it's up to, be, up to you to decide. But let's say that that becomes just it's so now just the way we think that we don't give it any notice anymore. Just isolation and stuff. Then the next thing that comes along might not even have to put up signs and draw more lines on the floors. Probably will happen that way though. But it'll be much more easy to accept. Oh, more social distancing. It's not just, oh, social distancing. Oh, oh, it's a new idea here used to be considered a bad thing. Now we have reason to think, it. <laughs> now we have reason to overlook the badness. Mm. <clears throat> It'll be accepted much more easily. It won't be a new thing anymore. It won't be a thing that we have to cross a big line to step into. It'll be 
Oh, more of that. More reason to do that. Reason now to add two more feet to that six foot parameter. Whatever. I mean, the question may, a question as things have been, may, ha, it may have been stated, <clears throat> how much togetherness do you feel in your life with other people? <laughs> it may cross a big line, you know, a, a pretty, pretty heavy line into the question no longer being that. Is how isolated do you feel from other people? <clears throat> with the same tone, you know, like formerly togetherness. How, how, you know, like this. That's the, that's the, that's the plus thing. You know, like how much togetherness do you feel with others? Now the plus thing would be, I mean, the same mood to the question, but the word has changed. How much isolation do you feel with others, or from others? <clears throat> and that be taken to be the normal thing. Eventually, <laughs> that there was ever any other way, unknown. <clears throat> Why do I say this? Human cooperation, togetherness. <clears throat> Should that be left to some spiritual concept alone? but not manifested, barely even realized at some point, and then eventually not even recognized? Huh? Should it be only for those esoterrorists? E esoterrorists. Yeah. Esoter <laughs> esotericists who dare to propose that there was an underlying connectedness among us all and that's it? Well, that could become heretical. My goodness. <clears throat> Unless, of course, you know, we then further subscribe to the idea or such a notion as, well, you know, we don't have to have any, like, actual proximity with one another. We can all experience an interconnectedness if we get... Implants, you know, nanotechnology, te nanotechnological implants that kind of like link us all to a central mind and uh, artificial intelligence programs kind of like run everything. And, and we are aware of this. Then we're connected, right? But we can maintain 36 feet from each other. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> you know, if I want to copulate with that woman over there, <clears throat> we want to have a child together. Well, you know, I can have my sperm dematerialized, sent through the ether. <laughs> into her womb and materialize over there because artificial intelligence can do that. I mean, you know, it can by now take a person's consciousness out of, you know, out, out of their shell <clears throat> and transplant it over to another or maybe store it in a crystal for a while. Or, you know, where the mainframe is for a while and then it gets another shell. You know, eventually. Well, what about the sperm, you know, cell thing? Don't have to even copulate, really. I mean, hey, distancing. Good, right? <clears throat> Good. No reason to ever have to be together with another person. How about that? Is that good? You like that? You like that? All your interactions, you wouldn't even need video conference for your psychotherapy. You just naturally get it. It just comes. 
you know, if you step out of line with your thinking, you know, it's not the way the Central Control Agency, the CCA, uh, would have you. Well, you're just brought right into line because you're, you're hooked in. You're linked in. You're linked in. How about that? It's just a matter of an implant. <clears throat> All things essentially are one that way, right? How about that? Hmm? Hey, COVID-19 was great then, right? It was a good thing. Yeah. Then whoever created the damn thing can say, well, you know, we take credit. <laughs> yeah, I. Well, this is what we had in mind. A good thing. <clears throat> Man. You know, if you have fallen for some lasting notion of this isolationism in connection with that disease, then get away, get, get out of it now. Let it go. Let it go. All right? Just let it go. Because this channel is about personal involvement. Constructive personal involvement. <clears throat> Human isolation. Individual isolation from others is not a step in that direction. Why? Come on, man. If I was going to spell all that out, you'd have to listen through a lot more video here. I'm just going to leave it up to you to figure that one out. It should be a gimme. I'm Tharanki Ramacharaka. Like, subscribe, share, and be well.